Hi, my name is Eric Bishop. I am the North American Marketing Manager for Shinetsu Silicones. Uh, I'd like to give you uh, just a brief introduction about uh, Shinetsu Silicones and uh, our offerings into the medical industry. Shinetsu is one of the leading global manufacturers of silicone. Uh, we manufacture high consistency rubber products, liquid silicone rubbers, as well as uh, RTV adhesives for the medical industry. Uh, we are our U.S. subsidiary is based in Akron, Ohio. Uh, we're known as Shinetsu Silicones of America, but obviously we're part of a much larger global company uh, based in Tokyo and with facilities in Japan and in Thailand. Um, we are differentiated in the marketplace, uh, it, particularly in our liquid silicone products, by a number of characteristics. Uh, first of all, our, our general purpose materials, uh, of course, are biocompatible. They've been tested for USB Class 6, ISO 10993. Uh, but they are differentiated because of their consistency. Uh, batch to batch consistency is uh, very good. Our customers continually report to us that uh, compared to other materials that they have tested, other suppliers, that uh, our consistency is far above what they have seen. Also, uh, our processing window, if you will, for these materials is very wide, so it gives a lot of versatility for customers who are using our materials for the first time. They report back that they are able to uh, have more flexibility in how they process them and also you know, end up getting making better parts as a result. Uh, technically speaking, we're seeing a lot of customers who are looking at multi-component products, uh, typically plast thermoplastic with a silicone on it and we are launched a whole series of self-bonding materials for the medical industry. Uh, our primary product line is called KE2090 and it bonds to polycarbonates, PBTs, uh, PPOs, even PEAK, UDEL, RADEL, uh, and some other high temperature materials that are being used more commonly in the medical industry. Uh, so you, you, we've got just a wide range of uh, application examples here. Um, Obviously, we're a raw material supplier, but these are just some of the parts that our customers have made from our materials. And as I was saying before, talking about our self-bonding materials, uh, for customers who are looking for, to make a multi-component part on, say, a, a polycarbonate thermoplastic with silicone, I've got a, a good example here. Uh, this is a, a demonstration piece that we have created, and uh, it, it's just a, it's an ice scraper, but uh, you, you may have seen this at uh, being molded at NPE shows in the past. But uh, the, the silicone is actually chemically bonded to the plastic in the mold. Uh, there's no uh, mechanical interlock here, no through holes are necessary. So we're actually developing a chemical bond to the plastic. And wh what's more is that this uh, bond is so strong that when we were to test it and pull it apart, we're looking for what's called 100% cohesive failure. In other words, as you were to rip this apart, the silicone would tear before the bond delaminates from the substrate. And that, for, to us, is, is, is a successful application. Uh, as I mentioned, these products have been tested for USP Class 6 or ISO 10993, so they are biocompatible. Uh, we limit ourselves to uh, short-term implantable applications, less than 29 days in the bottle. Um, this is a, uh, a strap as you can see that was used for a breast pump and uh, it's, you know, it has a very nice elegant look to it. You've got the polycarbonate and the silicone all nicely bonded together uh, seamlessly and uh, it just makes for an elegant part that's much more functional than if you had to try to bond or assemble this. So there's not only is there design savings to be had with self-bonding silicone rubber but there's also uh, improvements in production and process and cost savings.